Hey everybody, uh, my name is Laura and I am the teen librarian here at the Franklin Public Library. Welcome to 2021. Uh, we have lots of really cool uh, teen crafts and teen kits that are going to be available this spring. And this is our very first one for January. Uh, today I am going to show you how to make a make-it-yourself Mancala game board. And if you have never played Mancala before, uh, you're in for a treat. It's really easy to learn. You can play it with um, all ages. Uh, you need two players and it is an ancient game. It's been around for thousands of years. People have been playing versions of Mancala. And I'm going to show you how to make a game board using an egg carton. Um, so, uh, first I will show you our uh, supplies that we need, and um, this is what you will find in one of your takeout kits if you got one of those. Um, otherwise, you can actually do this at home just using your own egg carton. Uh, so that is the first thing you need, just a used egg carton. Um, it can be the styrofoam kind or the cardboard kind, but you do want it to be the dozen eggs, not the 18. You want the dozen eggs. Next, you will need... Um, uh, in our kit, uh, I included a little baggie with 48 colored beads. Um, but if you're doing this at home, you can use 48 of anything. It could be seeds, um, different kinds of beads that you might have at home, anything small uh, that you can use. You will also need a pair of scissors. This is not included in your kit, but hopefully you have it at home. And you will need some tape. And this is also not included, but hopefully you have access to some at home. All right. So I'm going to follow our instructions just to make sure that I do not mess this up. Um, so step one, you're going to take your egg carton and you are just going to cut the top off. You do this carefully, you don't want to hurt yourself, but it should be easy enough. Yep, there we go. So just cut it off right like that. We can set this piece aside. And now what we're going to do is we are going to cut the ends off. Uh, probably about two inches on each side, just like that. And again, you want to be careful when you're cutting, just so you don't hurt yourself. And just want to cut as straight as possible. There we go. There. So there is one, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now it looks like that. We have cut off our two sides. And now the top here, this is my top that I'm looking at it um, from my angle. Uh, you are going to cut two little pieces. You're gonna cut this into twos. Um, so basically, I'm gonna cut it like that, straight across. Okay. And then we'll just cut this right in half like this. Okay. So this is what you're left with. We don't, we don't need this piece. We can just set that aside. Um, so this is what you're, you're left with here. Um, I'll spin it around so you can see kind of from what your angle would be. You're left with these pieces from the top of your egg carton. So this is kind of what you want it to look like. This is what you are left with. And what we are going to be doing with these pieces is we are going to be creating the little end pockets for your Mancala board. Um, and I will show you how to do that. And actually, you know what? We can actually cut this piece off too. We will not need that. So I'll just go ahead and cut that off right now. Okay, so we can get rid of that. All right, so um, so you wanna take, uh, so each of these side pieces here is going to get one of the top ones. Um, so basically, let's see, I wanna make sure I'm doing this correctly. We're gonna take our little pocket here and we are going to connect it like this. So we're taking this piece and we're gonna tape it on real good and you're, make, you're creating a little pocket. There we go. 
go. And just use your scotch tape and just tape it on there real good. There we go. So you have the side, you got the other side here. go and then put some on the bottom here just to make it nice and sturdy and maybe give it a second a second piece on the side there we go and actually so this is going to be our end piece and as you can see I have a little hole here so I think I'm actually going to tape that up on the on the bottom just because that's where um, some of the beads are gonna end up. So you don't want them to be falling out. There we go. So I think I'll do a little piece on the inside too, just to cover up that little hole. You can do that however works for your particular egg carton. You can just see how that works. Okay, so looks pretty good. Um, you can take, you can give it another uh, round of tape if you would like, you just wanna make sure it's secure. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing for the other side. So we'll take this, and again, here we have our end piece, and we have our top piece, and we're just creating a little pocket. So go ahead and tape the side. Oops. There we go. Oops. There we go. And get the other side here. Okay, and we'll do the bottom. There we go. Okay. And again, as you can see, this is the little pocket, and this does have a little hole in it, um, just because of the way the egg carton was shaped, so I think I will tape that up. Just so the beads can't sneak out, make it a little easier for yourself. So we'll put a piece of tape on that side and on the other side. And your egg carton may not have that, it just depends on the shape that you ended up with. Okay. All right, so that looks pretty good. So we've got our two uh, end pieces here. These are actually called mancalas. This is where uh, the name of the game comes from. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to tape. This is what you're gonna look, this is what it's gonna look like at the end. So you have your 12 uh, uh, pieces uh, where, the, where the pieces go and then your mancalas on either side. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape these to the egg carton. You wanna tape it real good. If you have tape stronger than scotch tape, you could even use that. That would be probably a good thing to do. Just a lot longer piece there. Just so it's nice and sturdy and gonna stick. There we go. Okay, we'll do the other side. And you could glue it too, if you have glue at home, that would probably work as well, just so that you end up, there we go. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. We're just gonna attach that to the end there. So however you can get it so it's nice and sturdy. All right, so you could give it another round of tape. Um, you, you may want to, like we may want to tape these little ends here, but for the sake of time, I won't go through and tape everywhere. But yeah, a little, little piece of tape here would probably be a good idea just to 
keep that together. Another piece of tape there maybe. Yeah, just this is what you want at the end. And this is it. This is our Mancala board. This is all you need to play. And uh, along with your 48 beads or 48 of whatever else you would like. Um, and the way to prepare to play is that you want to put four in each of the 12 slots where the eggs would normally go. Here we go. So we'll do one, two, three, four. And it does not matter what colors. It doesn't matter what colors you put in each. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's why you can use pretty much anything you have at home that would fit in here. One, two, three, four. four and one two three four all right so this is what you're going to end up with uh i think you can see yep so there are your four beads in each of the little egg pockets and then your larger mancalas on each side and you're ready to play and this is a two-player game so someone would sit on this side and someone would sit on this side and um, I'm not gonna try to explain the rules in this, in this video, uh, but if you picked up one of our kits, uh, it comes with some simple and easy to follow rules on how to play this game. There's also tons of videos out there if you search on YouTube for Mancala rules or Mancala instruction, how to play Mancala, anything like that, um, then you'll be good to go. It's a super fun game. Um, the objective is to end up with the largest number of beads in your mancala, but that'll all be um, explained in the directions. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is how to create your mancala board. Super easy to do, super fun. Um, you can play with just one other person and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and then these are available uh, at the library. The kits are available starting on Monday, the 11th of January, and they are first come, first serve. So come and pick one up while supplies last, and I hope you enjoy. All right, and then stay tuned for our next teen takeout craft, which is coming in a couple weeks. All right, bye everybody. Thanks for watching.